Well, Nikki's here to get some of those answers, and she brought her daughter, Kylie. They're backstage right now with Dr. Sears. Welcome. Hey, hey guys. Look who I've got here. <laughs> this is little Kylie. So, Nikki, you had some questions. I do. Um, we are a little bit concerned about Kylie's um, gag reflex. Mm -hmm. That's what we call it. Um, when she takes medicine, when um, she coughs, um, things like that, she will automatically vomit. Okay. And um, it's a concern that we've had for a while, and um, she's been doing it since she's about 16 months old. Now, how old are you, Kaylee? Three. Three? Are you going to be four pretty soon? Well, you are getting pretty big. Did, is she a good eater? She is a good so, eater, yeah. So no gagging problems with eating? No, just, right? some, yeah. Not what if it's a food she doesn't like? She will, yeah, she yeah. will, and, and sometimes throw it back up, yeah. Okay, so. mm -hmm. all right. Well, I'm in the danger zone right here. <laughs> <laughs> Has she ever had tonsillitis? Um, yeah, we actually just got back from the doctor, and he said that she has a little bit of tonsillitis oh, okay. right now, actually, yeah. Because sometimes when kids have big tonsils, that may right. kind of right. make their gag reflex. Can I, can I take a look at your tonsils? All right, can you sit up really tall like a big princess girl? Okay, here we go like this. And I'm gonna get my special light. Now say, ah, ah. wow. Now, yeah, you can see those. Now do it again. Say a nice long, ah. ah. Keep saying it, ah. Now, yeah, her tonsils are a little bit, little big. That was good that you were able to say, ah, so well without gagging. Some kids, their gag reflex is so overactive that right. they can hardly keep food down, and that's a real problem. Right, so right. the fact that hers is a little more sporadic only when there's a real trigger makes right. me think, okay, there's probably not really a problem here. It's just a case of typical overactive uh, gag reflex, which she will eventually outgrow, right, right. most likely. Um, you know, for kids that it's a real problem, mm -hmm. you know, some kids can have sensory overload issues, mm -hmm. uh, and actually an occupational therapist that deals with kids can kind of help kids work through that. I'm curious, okay. Her other sensations, does she have a problem with like tags of her clothes or the, her socks aren't, yes, if they're not on she right? she does, yeah. Okay, she's probably overly sensitive Huge, then. yeah, that's okay. crazy. Yeah. Um, certain textures really yeah, bother her. So she does. I bet yeah. if you paid a visit Listen. to, a, to a, a good pediatric occupational therapist that uh -huh. deals with sensory overload right. or sensory integration problems, she, she'll give you some really neat exercises okay. that Kylie can do to uh, kind of help her get through this. Okay, well does thank you. Does that sound you. pretty fun? So, yeah, that is mm. so, I'm so glad you mentioned that because she does yeah. have a really okay. bad thing with tags and socks and if they're not on right. Good deal. So, yeah, hey, well, just last like thing, can I see your princess face? Show me your princess. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool. We're so glad that you could come join us. Thank you. We really you. appreciate it. We are it. very yeah. glad to be here.